Hello everybody, this is Capitalist Games, and welcome back to Robocraft 101. Today we're gonna cover n uh, the second moving part. We're just gonna be... Uh, we're just gonna be the... Tank tracks. Okay, there are a lot of types of tank tracks. Two commons, two rares, and an epic version. First up is the tank Warthog, the smallest type. Um, it's 1800 robots in this shop. It's 45 CPU, has a base health of 60,750, health boost of 225%, base speed of 165 miles per hour, a speed boost of 0 0.225%, uh, and a mass of 1800 kilograms. You're gonna cycle it for 1080 on premium. Although, actually, I'm not gonna show you guys all the research. Uh, uh, you can pause it here and just take a look at the recycle rates for premium. Divide them by three if you want to have for the non-premium. Um, I have premium for life. I can literally cannot show them for non-premiums. That's that. We have the buy track, two thousand six hundred for um, for buying them a piece. Uh, Sixty-five P flops, eighty-seven thousand seven hundred fifty base health, three point twenty-five percent health boost, a base speed of one hundred sixty-five miles per hour, speed boost zero point sixty-five percent, and a mass of 2040 kilograms. Uh, to be clear, all these uh, vehicles, uh, all these uh, parts base speed is 165 miles an hour. Uh, next up is the Rhino, 8.5 thousand robots, 85 CPU, 114,750 base health, 4.25% health boost, a speed boost of 1.275%, and a mass of 2280 kilograms. Next is the elephant with 405 piece flops and 10,500 robots, 400 and 141,750 health, 5.25% health boost, 2.1% speed boost, and 2,520 kilograms of mass. Last up is the mammoth, 31,250 robots, 125 CPU. 168,750 base health and 620 6.25% health boost, 3.125% speed boost, and 2760 current of mass. Um, I am gonna build a example build using uh, mammoth and elephant tracks. I'm not gonna build, a, you can uh, generate a uh, warthog spam build, is better, but for that you can just go to here and search. The Robo Tree or Starter Tank. Oops. Robo Tree. Here we go. Robo Tree is a little gun spam, track spam build. If you want to have track spam, just use the Robo Tree. In my case, I'm gonna build a semi art build, so something that looks uh, good. I'm gonna uh, start out with a seven wide platform. Actually, nine. Moment. Pair of tank tracks out. These are gonna be my rear, rear tank tracks, so I'm gonna move them back a little bit. And then go for five wide. Uh, if we one down first. Uh, pick quite a long frame. And then place a pair of elephant tracks. Like so. I'm actually gonna make a. Um, Third, uh, uh, gonna place a third track in here in the center. Gonna turn off the mirror mode and then turn it back on. I'm gonna start making a little cover around the tracks. Tracks are very easy to armor around. They're very, oh, even though they're very big, you can still make it pretty tough with the armoring. For the rear, I'm gonna just gonna edge it off like so. And I'm gonna do one thing with some uh, edge uh, some prisms and connect this up like so. Before 
adding it like that and adding a cover on the rear of the tracks on the sides of the tracks first like this and then I am gonna start armoring up this front entire area so I'm gonna do it the same way although here we're gonna start it first like so And then add a layer of standard armor blocks like this. Start up first before I can go forward. Next up, we're gonna go and reinforce the center area. Although, I am gonna put a sixth track in here and a seventh track actually. Gotta put them down two little warthogs. Oops, this one's elevated. Actually, they're both elevated. I'll first have to place these like so. Oh crap! Oh, give me a moment to force a shit around off health cubes. That's quicker. 1000 cubes. And we should be ready to go again. After placing the bottom list, turn on uh, your mirror mode. And then after you're done, put it back on. Here we're gonna do some pretty uh, fancy stuff actually. Gonna start it with some. Inners, then some uh, corners, and then put our edges on here. Now I need one uh, corner, and then I can put the edges like so, so everything is connected. And now I'm gonna put on a little roof over these parts. I'm just gonna edge that off, even though I don't really need to. Kinda the same as earlier. Armor off these frontal parts like so. This thing is pretty high in CPU, this means that you will not have any CPU for mega weapons sadly. Mega sized weapons, they're not really officially mega weapons anymore, but you guys get the point. Like legendary class weapons. 
Um, I'm gonna put one more layer right here. armament on this thing again as I already warned you guys for I'm gonna put on the same armament with all these builds this time it's gonna be much simpler though because the uh, weapons are uh, much uh, smaller compared to the vehicle <laughs> uh, can't fit them here sadly I guess I'll um, See what you can do here. Actually, let's put them as real guns. Let's go for. Oops. Still no Control Z in this game. I've done to the instant instantly press Control Z if I do something wrong because of ro uh, because of cross out. And then I've have tendency to forget that this is not cross out, and I do have Control Z in this game. Rip. There are two real guns. Let's see where can we. Fit another pair. We're gonna fit another pair over here, and I've got to actually push this thing forward a little bit, and I'm gonna put some uh, red diagonals over here, like so, and then I'm gonna put some light cubes in here. Make sure this thing sticks on there. And put a fifth real gun on top. One, two, three, four, five, six as SMGs. Gotta put another pair of them here. And now I'm gonna replace all the normal cubes with light cubes. This is a very easy thing to do. And it will increase the lifetime of these weapons. Of course, you don't really have to do those because those are on tracks mounted. Full hold up. Again, this is just an example build, not something too serious. Give it a simple black paint job. Line these blue. Go. Simple loadout. Simple wheel go. This thing is pretty fast. Not extremely fast, but uh, base speed to 465 with 13.3% health bo uh, speed boost. Goes at decent speed because of that. Uh, CPU is almost full at 1941, so you have a very low damage boost. But you do have a 84.22% health boost. That said, we're gonna go into one team deathmatch to show off this thing's uh, features. Of course, the wait time can be pretty long. Here you can see the average wait time is up to 56 seconds in this game right now. It's much, much slower because the uh, matches do not get filled with bots like in Crossout. That's a downside, so you have to wait for that. Um. This wheel go, I'll, it's gonna be more or less short range brawler. I have the real guns on there mainly because I can then fire at distant air targets more than being a sniper. Because they're excellent anti air weapons, so I could otherwise strip them all off and put a something like a flak on there if the CPU allowed it. But in this case, the CPU does not allow for a giant flak gun to be mounted on the back, back so I will have to do it with real guns. Also, I'm not really much of a fan with real guns. I'm not really that good with them. Um, 
especially because with real guns I have a tendency to um, aim like with an SMG instead of a real gun. The real guns have higher velocity than the SMGs, so that's kind of an issue. That's it, we got the match, and here we go. Honeym Canyon. On our side we got a guy with real shotgun, blink, shotgun, and ghost, and shin gun, and another real. On our side we got some SMG shield, SMG, plasma, flag, chain, chain, plasma, and plasma. The last one is probably going to be a bomber. Because with all your plasma, you're not going to be a land for, uh, bot of most of the time, because then you have the issue of the fact that you cannot... Um, you done your very bad anti-air. Okay, that's a big win. sniper. The first <laughs> a very to small the car. Target total wins. The battle for Tyhonium Canyon has begun. And that's just a... That's just a troll bot. <laughs> I'm going down the middle. This thing is... As I said, decently fast. By his bomber. Quite a small one. So. I'm really not used to aiming with these real guns, damn it. I'll switch over to SPG for now, for a moment. Oh, we got an enemy at close range. That's one heavy shield bomber. Let's hope I can heal up without interference of enemies. I got a feeling my sound is a little bit high, but you do not have options in the normal options. Uh, so in normal battle, you cannot open the options. Okay, let's see, where was that bomber? There we got him. Oh crap. That's our retreat for a moment. Mine is definitely does have a very big health pool so even though it's just 11% left I still have a lot of health Char for them to charge through Your uh, air uh, on your guys' side a little bit. Sorry uh, about that. I realized it, it's too loud. It's definitely too loud. An enemy player has disconnected. The remaining enemy team have been buffed. I'm multitasking. Getting annoying. 
All those shields as well. It's making it hard for me to. Back again as well. I can better no scope these guns than actually scope them. It's pretty funny. Got me before I died. <laughs> Alright, got this guy again. And we got that guy. And there we go, guys. We got the last kill. This thing is kind of hard to sustain. It's more of a team support unit. This thing can take the brunt of damage and then have another one roll in and take a kill. That's a nice thing about this thing, but it lacks the firepower to really keep up with things. It would probably do better in the uh, battle arena. Um, in Battle Arena, of course, you've got uh, the cap zones, and this thing is fast and has a very high amount of health. And I am gonna turn down this volume a lot. Entirely down, just a tiny bit for the music. It's good enough. But yeah, this thing, it's it's tough. But you don't have that much damage output. That's basically tanks. Tanks, you do not have that much damage unless you're gonna go for a very, very small tank. But in return, you got a decently fast platform with a very, very high um, um, health pool. So it's they, it takes long for this thing to die. But, um, yeah, the downside of thing, this thing is just, it's low damage, really. You need, you need to get, a, you get your gadgets you'll try it with your rails, especially. As you is less important, because they eat less energy per shot, but still decently important. 
Anyway, I'm gonna upload this thing to the <coughs> CRF. And then I'm gonna end the episode here. <coughs> Troy's acting up a little bit. I'm gonna call it uh, the cat tank. It's a random description. <coughs> yeah, if you guys want it, you can find it on the uh, CRF. Also, my username in the uh, game here is actually uh, Ingmar118, so um, it's actually a very old account. I'll type it in here. Ingmar118, as you can see here, I'm an <laughs> Arpo Builder, as you guys can see here. T95 Tomb Turtle, uh, Spitfire, uh, Hatzer, things you could probably see if you uh, follow my uh, War uh, Thunder line. And Dreadnought series, Weagles. This thing is a Megabot, it's using helium, and it flies. Yes. I actually made a video about it, if you guys have missed that. But, um... Yeah, if, if you have seen my, um... Dreadnought videos, you'll probably recognize at least one of these... Dreadnought series vehicles. I also make other types of, uh... Megabots, such as this thing, Monstrosity. 24-ish Plasmas. Uh... Around 10 reels, 3 Flax. <laughs> Is a white version and black. It's taking a while to load. Here, this thing you'll probably know as well from the Dreadnought series. Here, we've got our tank. Another Megabot tank. Better for this time. Churchill. Oh, here is. Uh, this actually, this one is the upgraded version, which is Trots. The other one is used extra armor. And some random art, more art bots on our Dreadnought series line. Dreadnought. And that's it. Those are the bots that are currently on the shop. If you guys want any of them, you can just find them by searching my username. Again, Ingmar118. And yeah, that's it. I want to thank you guys all for watching. And I will see you guys all later. Bye bye.